This is Twit. Uh, so Substratum is the... It, it's an app that lets you do theming for your, um, for your phone. Uh, and this has been in the works for a solid chunk of time with contri- contributions from Sony, Google, and a bunch of others to the Android core infrastructure that allows this to happen. Um, so Substratum, and until Oreo, this was a bit of a pain to uh, use because you had to be rooted and you had to do all of this like, extra work to get up and running. But um, Andromeda, which is, I guess, the kind of the um, keys part here, allows you to do this on... Uh, sorry, Substratum's the free one. And Andromeda costs, I believe, right? Andromeda, I, I can't remember if, if it costs. Maybe it did and I bought it way back when, but when I went oh. to install it this time, it didn't ask me to pay, so... Oh, okay. But it, um, actually, you know what? That would be really strange because I think they are selling this. What do you see? Oh, yep. It's uh Okay, so I must here. have bought it last okay. year and with the intention to use it, and then it didn't show that when I installed it today. So one ninety nine. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so Andromeda lets you use it, use Substratum on an Oreo device without root. And what Substratum does is it lets you go in and apply themes to change pretty much any bit of the uh, any bit of your phone that you want to change the look of, you can make it have a dark theme. You can change the look of the navigation buttons. You can change the type of emoji you're using, and it's ridiculously customizable. Um, it, it's, I mean, it, it's literally if there's anything you want to change about your phone in terms of looks, there's probably a theme to do it somewhere. Um, so now I'm building it, by the way. I'm, so I've got uh, I've got the Baltic UI that I had downloaded, and I just went in there and toggled on all of the different UI elements to theme, and now it's applying it. Uh, applied. It says some errors, but I bet you anything, themes look a little different. And there we go. I think you got the uh, you have the different uh, notification pane yep. down there. Yep, down there is a little uh, bit altered. Yeah. I don't know uh, at what I don't know how at what point like uh, what what different <laughs> UI elements are are changed. I, I believe for this one the notification pull down was one of the big cha- big changes. Um, how it's a dark look to it and with the blue and stuff I believe. Yeah. Um, but this is just that's just one um, one overlay. You can pick other overlays, and this is kind of a sneak peek at what Google's working on because it's using. Um, it's using functionality that's built into Android itself, and it's making it accessible to us to tweak how we want. So it really is um, kind of a sneak peek at what's com- what's uh, hopefully coming up from Google, um, although it probably won't be quite as powerful as Substratum itself is. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's fun to play around with. It, uh, if you're looking to tweak the phone to be exactly the phone that you want to to get to be your phone not just our phone it's the app to get yeah it's cool i I love that you're able to make some of these system seemingly system deep changes um and not to have to go root because i mean you know when i was really into customizing my phone a lot of the stuff that apps like this would even allow for enable installed overlays there we go. That's what we needed to do, I think. Um, would require root, and that requires a whole different level of, uh, you know, a, a sophistication and knowledge about as far as how to, you know, connect to it in the right way uh, in order to make that happen, how to root your device and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's nice that you can actually do some of these changes um, without having that extra layer of complication. So... Um, Cool. And it actually, I, sh- I should also mention, like, the process of installing it is, it's a little, I mean, there, there are some steps to it. On um, They have a Mac, a PC, and a Linux app that you have to install and run. And while that's running on your device, you turn it, um, you go into the developer settings and you put on USB debugging. And then when you plug it in, the app on your PC or Mac, or whatever I use, the Mac app, recognizes the phone and you clear it and at, after you clear it it basically registers the ability to make these changes so you know you can't just do this 100% on your device you have to have that sync up 
to your PC in order to uh, make it happen initially. So, um, <laughs> JJ is saying, check Chrome. The icons look different. And let's see here. I'm going into Chrome right now to see. It's really, I don't know if I'm seeing anything different. It's hard to know also because I'm on a OnePlus yeah. 5T and it kind of changes things too. But Yeah, I, I actually haven't used the uh, Baltic UI so I'm, yet, so I'm not quite sure um, let's see here. what Baltic UI itself is supposed to look like. But, Flare um, UI. Well, there, and there's a bunch of different themes and obviously they're going to charge for them. But if you install them, they just, they have different, you know, they give you different theming uh, capabilities, different looks on the icons and all this kind of stuff. It's probably one of those things that you just kind of have to dive in there. There's actually a uh, marketplace uh, inside the app that gives you all of the different themes that you can get right to and, and kind of play around with them and check them out. So, And one of my favorite bits about uh, Substratum is that um, it's a good chunk of the uh, core framework for it is actually open source. You can find it on GitHub. Nice. Um, and I... So yeah, it, you can go, you can take a look at the code, you can contribute if you want, um, and really get the exact phone you want, set your phone up exactly how you want your phone to be. And not have to root it in order to do it. Nobody wants to root. Some. I want to root. Some, some do. do. <laughs> some do, yes. Flo doesn't want to root, is what I really meant to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so check out Andromeda. That's the $1.99 uh, for the app that kind of does the syncing between the PC that you're using and the phone to make it capable of making these changes. And then you'll want to install uh, Substratum Theme Engine, and that, I believe, is free. And you can find that, install that, and then that's your theme manager, essentially, uh, to apply a theme. Very cool stuff.